What's happening, my friends? Welcome back to Road Reality, the funniest channel on YouTube, I hope. I don't know. You know, scratch that. Welcome back to Road Reality, where I try to entertain you. I really don't like, well, I don't like clickbait. We know that. I already did a video on that. But I don't like emphasizing things for the sake of emphasizing them. If you take every little thing and you make it a big thing, then all the little things are big things. All the big things aren't so big anymore. It's, it's kind of a travesty. You know, it's a problem that, uh, that we have. And I dare say society would, wow, all right. They were itching to get in behind me. Hopefully you saw that. But really it comes down to the little things in life because Take this morning, for instance. <laughs> oh, I'm still dealing with this cough thing. It, bear with me. But this morning, it was freaking hilarious. I come downstairs, and my wife's like, did you see my note? And I said, no, I didn't. What note? She's like, open the fridge. So I open the fridge, and there are two sandwiches. One says, heart, one of two, and the other one says, heart, heart, two of two. <laughs> I was like, that's your note? Okay, thank you for making me sandwiches, dear. But I have legit been pumped up, excited for today's ride because it's in the 30s and it's invigorating. And I absolutely love this time of year. It is a glorious thing. Mind you, it, it's just a harbinger of the white death to come, snow. But really, it's uh, it's just, I just absolutely love it because there's not a lot of people out riding, so you kind of stick out, right? Instead of being one of many bikes, there's one Harley rolling down the road like a choo-choo train. But why is it so funny that my wife made me sandwiches, you're wondering? Or you clicked off the video. That could happen too. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Whee! And we're doing a speed limit. <laughs> first gear, baby, first gear. All right, so why is it so funny that my wife made me sandwiches? Well, see, what had happened was, through no fault of my own, I ran out of topics to talk about. <laughs> so I'm sitting there in my kitchen, pouring my coffee, and I, I'm talking to my wife, and we're talking about the sandwiches, and I was like, oh, I can't wait to ride today, but I don't have anything to talk about. So she's like, well, tell your viewers that your wife is awesome and she made you sandwiches. There, I hope you're watching, honey. You get your credit. <laughs> and now I'm gonna get passed by a cop. <laughs> I'm gonna wave, I'm gonna wave at this cop. He's probably looking at me like, should I pull this guy over? Cause he looks like he's breaking the law. Breaking the law, breaking the law, drinking my coffee, smoking my cigar, riding my Harley. <laughs> What's up, cop top? Whoop, whoop. Ain't pulling me over today. Boop, boop. See, I told you, I get totally pumped up for this fall weather. And I don't even know if it's fall anymore. It's uh, late November-ish. You can see that the trees are no longer fully lined with green leaves. Oh, but it is so gosh darn good to get out and ride. Woo! Yeah. And uh, just for clarity, I did that whole audio test uh, sort of complaining video two days ago. It's Saturday night. This is Monday morning. I do not have a case of the Mondays, my friend. A case of the Mondays. That would be a good title for this video. Do you think if I passed that cop, he would be like, whoop, whoop, pulling you over. You did something stupid. Or do you think he'd be like, that is a world famous YouTuber. I should not mess with him. I'm world famous, you know. I have subscribers on at least three continents. Not incontinence, that'd be crappy, but uh, three continents. Anyway, moving on, I totally forgot to ask you, how you doing out there in YouTube land? Are you having a good day? Oh my gosh, this is freaking phenomenal. I love it. My, oh, I gotta stop for a red light. Oh, don't stall the bike out. You know, Patrick, Moto Ramblings, he commented on a recent video. I forget what the hell I was talking about, but 
in that video, not this video, but Patrick was like, you can totally use a DCT gold wing because it would help with your octopus -ness 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 -ness. I added the emphasis because I got to make the little things big, right? I'm sensationalizing motorcycle riding. Really, motorcycle riding is just taking a tank full of flammable liquid, putting it on, so on top of a combustion engine that makes fire inside of it, and then strapping the whole thing between your legs and going out and playing with, you know, car drivers. Hello, actually, how are you? Look, we're gonna make him a YouTube star. What's up, buddy? I am phenomenal. It's a brisk day for a ride. It's a nice one. You're on YouTube now. Good. Yeah, we got another Dodge Ram driver. Love it. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got to do a jump off. If I get a, if I get a red light, we're doing a jump off. Nope, I'm getting a green light. Roxanne, you don't have to put out that green light today. Ooh, I can't carry a tune in a bucket. Anyway, we're going to lean through this corner. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm, I'm half good at it now. Please, when I practice. Oh, oh, boo, boo, boo hit. What the? I bet you that guy wishes he had a truck right now. Whoa, big box on top. Oh, this is just, I can't get over how this sky looks today. I think that guy's uh, windshield had a sticker at the top that said move over. Like he was gonna pass you. Be better if he put a set of lights on that car, then everybody would get out of his way. Ah Bingo bango bongo. Bob's your uncle. There it was, minding my own business. No stuff. Tell you what. But the sky this morning looks really wild. The sun over there. The sun over there. It really looked kind of wild and yellowish. Are you are you back back in action? Yep. Hey, let's take a look at our Ram friend. Hello, Ram friend. How are you? We can go all the way up today. <laughs> Wave to the camera! <laughs> that guy has no idea. No, no idea. You, you have an idea. Have you subscribed yet? You should really subscribe to my channel. It's a lot of fun. We really have to do a jump off though. I'm feeling good about the cleanliness of my bike. So we have to double check and make sure there's a lot of like scratches, dents, stings, and dirt on it, you know? Yeah, baby. See, that's that's what I'm talking about with the sky. The sky looks weird today. I don't get it. Better not snow today. That's all I'm saying. Oh, let's pull over top of the hill. Pull over here. We should pretend we're getting on the bus. <laughs> let's stop at the bus stop. <laughs> and this is the new bus stop. Get on. <laughs> You don't want to ride this bus. This is a crazy bus. The crazy town. Oh yeah. You know what? I can take a picture here too. I'm gonna leave the bike running. It's good for it. Gotta propose to the bike, get a picture. Oh, I love it. The headlight is so sexy in pictures. Oh yeah, look at that. Wish I had my Sony, but it's too cold to bring it out. I think two pictures was enough for today. You probably recognize one of them. It's the thumbnail. Yeah, I like doing that now. You know, it's it's problematic though, because my thumbnail style involves blurring the background. Now, on a screen grab of myself riding like I normally do for a thumbnail, that actually takes a few minutes. I could do it in DaVinci Resolve in mere seconds, but I am stuck with the way I was doing it for a long time, and that is doing it in GIMP the graphic image manipulation program, I think it is. It's a freebie, right? I'm all about my free stuff. And I go around and I cut out me and make a new layer of me, put it over the background and make it blurry. Make the background blurry, not me. Then I usually add a little bit of saturation or something, make, make it pop. So the background is a little dull, but the foreground is me and it pops. Cause that, you know, I'm making the little things big again. But at the same time, I could do that in Magic Mask and resolve in like 30 seconds. I, I don't know why I don't. In fact, I really should start doing that. Oh, I know why I don't, because I don't like the way that the text gets processed in resolve. I do a gradient from white to blue or white to a color typically on my text on my thumbnails. And DaVinci Resolve does it 
per letter. So it's white, blue, white, blue, white, blue. If there's three lines of text, and I, I don't really care for that. So I do it by hand. That takes time, but using a picture like that, what I'll do is I'll do my text and I'll have like the corner uh, overlapping the bike or something. And then I'll just take that corner and delete that corner, cut it out. Yeah, that's what I do. So anyway, there's a editing tip and we looked at the sun. Don't look directly into the sun, folks. But we had fun today, this was great. Oh, we should do this more often. What is it? Is it the end of December when I'm posting this? I hope so. I'm actually kind of nervous for myself because as of this week, I only, oh yeah, we got the right lane, let's go. Because I only have like seven videos uploaded, three of which are scheduled for this week. So I gotta get my butt editing so I'll have three to put out next week. Would you be upset if I missed a week? Probably, probably you would. Probably you would be like knocking on my door going, John, I found you. I'll find you. Name that movie. Uh, anyway, I gotta go. I'm gonna ramble and yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I do. I had a lot of fun making it. Gonna have a lot of fun editing it. You hopefully had fun watching it. So if you did, boop the like button, share it with your friends. I've been told my audio doesn't even require motorcycle people anymore because you can just listen. The video doesn't even matter. I could be turned around looking at something else and it doesn't matter. But if you did enjoy this video, please share it with your friends. Please hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Remember the two mantras. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And number two, do something nice for yourself every day. Maybe it's getting some sort of coffee deal where you sound like a TV announcer. This week on The Young and the Restless, John Rides to Work. That's all I got for you. Bye.